Welcome to yet another video by the Knowledge Academy, where today's video is about what is Java. So without any further wait, let's get directly into the agenda of this session. Initially, we'll go through what is Java, then we'll see the various usage of Java, then the components, after which, lastly we'll see the types of Java platforms. We're gonna explore one of the most popular programming languages in the world, Java. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced programmer, Java has something to offer for everyone. So what is Java? Let's dive in and find out. Java is an all-purpose, object-oriented, class-based programming language designed by Sun Microsystems in California. The release of this language dates back to 1995 and consistently evolves to be updated with time. But what does all of that mean? Well, let's break it down. All purpose means that Java can be used to develop a variety of applications from desktop and mobile applications to gaming consoles and even supercomputers. Object oriented means that Java organizes data and code into objects that can interact with each other, making it easier to write and maintain code. And class based means that Java uses classes to define the structure and the behavior of objects. Java is widely utilized for programming applications due to its secure, fast, and reliable characteristics. Its implementations span across laptops, gaming consoles, mobile phones, supercomputers, and data centers. Released in 1982 by Winod Kosla, Scott McNeely, and Andreas Bechtolstein, the Java programming language continued to progress to keep up with evolving times. Here are some of the important characteristics of Java. Firstly, Java is an object-oriented and class-based. The Java environment permits object grouping, which can be used in other projects, improving productivity. Secondly, it is highly portable. Java operates on the idea of write once, use anywhere, which means that once the code has been written, it can be used on other projects instead of beginning from the scratch. Thirdly, Java is highly secure. All Java code is converted into bytecode, which humans cannot read. As a result, this protects your work from unreliable sources and even malicious viruses. Finally, it's concurrency. Java enables the operation of multiple programs, hence improving the efficiency. Now, we are going to explore where is Java used. Java's primary features include an open-source and multifaceted language. It allows the creation of both localized and distributed software applications. A massive number of applications use Java. In fact, these applications will not function unless you have the Java environment installed. Now, we'll be talking about some of the most popular applications of Java. So here is a list of applications of Java. Firstly, let's talk about artificial intelligence. Java is powerfully equipped with machine learning libraries. It possesses both speed and stability for artificial intelligence applications like natural language processing as well as deep learning. Next, let's talk about big data. Java is utilized for engines processing data capable of working with complex data sets and enormous amounts of real-time data. Now let's move on to game development. Many computer and mobile games are built using Java. New Age Game combines the machine learning technology or even virtual reality with the help of the Java programming language. Finally, let's talk about cloud computing. Java's write once, run anywhere principle makes it excellent for decentralized cloud-based software applications. So there you have it, four amazing applications you can build today using Java. Moving on, let's talk about what are the components of Java. Have you ever wondered how the programs you use on your computer are created? The answer lies in language called Java and the programmers who write it. But here's the thing, computers don't understand the same language as humans do. This is where the central processing unit or the CPU comes in. The CPU is the brain of the computer responsible for performing calculations and executing instructions. Programs written by Java programmers are in the human-readable language known as source code. A computer central processing unit or CPU is not built on understanding the source code from any language. 
source code is also known as high-level language or high-level code. The computer is designed only to understand low-level code or the machine language, which the CPU interprets. Different CPU models understand different machine language codes. What you need to be concerned is about the machine code, as that is a language that the computer will understand. The computer understands and translates the source code into machine understandable executable code. So next time you use a program on your computer, remember that it all started with a Java programmer writing source code that was eventually translated into the language of CPU. Now let's dive into the components of Java. First up, let's talk about Java Virtual Machine, or the JVM. The JVM engines gives you runtime environment to operate the Java code. It also translates the Java bytecode into machine language. The JVM is also part of the Java Runtime Environment, or the JRE, which exists to create and run any Java application. The JRE operates on the computer's operating system and the JVM receives the produced code from the Java compiler. The JVM also facilitates platform independence for the execution of Java source code. This means that once you run Java on any program, you can run it on any platform and save yourself significant time. That's not all, though, as the JVM also brings compiler known as Just-in-Time or JIT that converts Java source code into machine language code. This means that the Java programs run much faster than other applications, and therefore it operates much more quickly than any regular application. Next, we have the Java Development Kit or the JDK, an environment created to design Java applets. Java developers use JDK across all operating systems such as Mac OS, Linux, Solaris, and even Windows. As a matter of fact, it is even allowed to install multiple JDK versions on the same computer. Last but not the least, we have Java Runtime Environment or the JRE which is a part of the JDK. It is an application built to create other software applications. A JRE behaves as a translator between the OS and the Java program. JRE includes the JVM, class libraries, loader class, which means you need the JRE if you wish to run the Java program. Additionally, if you wish to run Java applets on your system, you must install the JRE. The presence of the JRE on any system eliminates the need for any modifications for running Java programs on the OS. Furthermore, the JRE contains few important components such as the development tools, deployment solutions, language and utility libraries, and integration libraries. Now we'll be taking a look at the last topic of today's video, the various Java platforms, their unique features, and what sets them apart from one another. So let's get started. What are the types of Java platforms? Let us briefly take you through the meaning of a platform. A platform is the software or the hardware environment inside which a program runs. The most well-known platforms you will be aware of are the Windows, Solaris, Linux, and Mac OS. Java's platform's features of being software only and operating atop other hardware-based platforms makes it distinct. Java platforms harbor two components, the JVM and the Java API. The JVM is the base for the Java platform, and the API is an enormous collection of ready-to-use software elements that provides many capabilities. Here are the different types of Java platform. The Java FX. This is a platform for designing a lavish internet application utilizing user interface API. It takes advantage of media engines and hardware accelerated graphics for the purpose of high performance clients. Java Platform Standard Edition or the Java SE. This edition's API provides the Java language its primary functionality. It is utilized for security, networking, graphical user interface, or GUI development, database access, and XML parsing. Java Platform Enterprise Edition, or the Java EE. This edition offers a runtime environment and the API for designing and operating highly scalable, multi-tiered, trustworthy, and secure network applications. 
Java Programming Language Platform, Micro Edition, or the Java ME. This platform provides a virtual machine which runs the Java programming language applications on small-sized devices like the mobile phones. And that's it for today's video. We hope you find it informative and useful. Leave your queries and comments below. Subscribe to our channel for more informational videos on trending tech topics. Until next time, happy coding. Thank you.